You know, I think one aspect that's often overlooked in uh, ed innovation and ed reform is how important it is that learning become communal and ongoing. Um, networks in our name, um, but actually we're just on the verge of really helping adults deeply engage in network behaviors in ways that really challenges the old paradigm of schools being isolated, classrooms being kingdoms or queendoms, and uh, today more than ever, I think this idea of helping uh, develop new ways of connecting educators and schools into professional networks using network behavior, I think is gonna help us help more than anything have deeper learning be a reality for every child, not just some children. So I was fortunate to have the opportunity to be a teacher in an international school before I became the principal of an international high school. And so that experience gave me a really good vision of what I knew a successful international school could look like. Um, one of the first components that we put in place besides the structure of the team was to bring in teachers who had similar experience and could help carry the culture of internationals practice forward. But on an ongoing basis, the opportunity to visit other schools that are working with similar populations of students and trying to address similar problems of practice has been really important. So being able to go see someone else's classroom is a really great way for us to get ideas and inspiration about work that we can do with our own students. And at the same time, opening our classroom gives us the chance to get some feedback on things that we're doing that might be informed by work others are doing outside. So it's hard from the many years to pick one thing, but something that stuck with me from the earliest years of being a teacher was the opportunity to go see Brooklyn International High School. One of my colleagues a few weeks into that first year of teaching gave me the opportunity to go do a visit with him to Brooklyn International High School, which was a much more established school. Flushing International High School at the time only had a ninth and 10th grade, so there were not all of the different structures and models to refer to. So having the chance to go see a school that was up and running that had worked some of those problems out was a really profound experience and gave me a really clear sense of how much work I needed to do to get from where I was to where I knew I wanted to go. And so our district leaders at that time uh, visit very various cities and on the quest of what's going to work for Nashville, what do our students need based on what our expectations are. And so they searched, they searched and came and visited the Met in Providence, Rhode Island, and then the rest is history. So going and visiting and speaking with students who had experienced, then speaking with staff members who said, okay, I'm aboard this, I'm, this is something different. It's, it's learning from the student. I am supporting their learning and it's engaging them in a way that they haven't really been engaged, having a voice about learning, having students that have internships, those types of things, and then branching out for students who could also have dual enrollment opportunities, showing them life before the actual life happens, giving them an opportunity to explore.